Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. So um, this is going to be a fun video, I think. Um, I just came up with this idea to see if I could get a full or basically a full face of makeup from Sephora for under $150. That's of course cruelty free and you know will work for my skin tone. Uh, I just thought it would be fun to, you know, shop and see if that's possible and then bring you guys along with me uh, to, you know, go through the thought process with me. Um, the premise for this is, you know, it's travel season is coming up. I'm actually going on a big trip for my graduation and uh, I was thinking back to the last time I moved to Korea, which was in uh, 2012, and how, like, the day before I left, I stayed in a hotel, like by the airport in LA. And um, unfortunately, I left my makeup bag, which was filled with brand new stuff from Urban Decay that I had used literally for the first time that morning. Uh, I left it at the hotel. Uh, about two hours later, I realized that I had left it and I called them and they said they never found anything. So, um, unfortunately, I lost hundreds of dollars worth of Urban Decay makeup and, um, you know, I had to replace it, but I, I couldn't replace that really high-end stuff. I had to do it cheaper. So, anyway, that's kind of where the idea came from. So, if you were to, like, lose your makeup and you had to replace it, but you had a budget, um, I just wanted to see if it's... I know you could do it easily at the drugstore, but... Um, I wanted to see if it was possible to do it at Sephora. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and start by um, looking for some sort of BBCC cream, tinted moisturizer, something. I bet tinted moisturizer would be cheaper than BB and CC cream. So I think I'm going to start there. Now, again, this has to be cruelty free. Um, and it has to be my skin tone, so that means I can't use the mini sizes because the mini sizes usually only come in like two skin tones and they're like medium, like a light and a medium or something. It's ridiculous. They really should, I can understand that they don't want to do every single shade in a mini, but I wish they would do like at least five, you know, at least cover the spectrum a little bit better, but whatever. Um, so I know I can't do the minis. But I'm just going to see, you know, look to see what the cheapest thing is. So Laura Mercier is not cruelty free. I recently found out. Complexion Rescue, this is one of my favorite things. And it's only $30, which it looks like is cheaper than the other things, which seem to be more like around the $40 mark. So I'm going to go back to that. The BB Tinted Treatment Primer from Tarte. I used to love this stuff. It doesn't really work for me anymore says that they have a mini for $14, but I know that it's not my skin tone, so I'm not even going to look. Um, let's see. First Aid Beauty. Oh, tinted moisturizer for $28. I might have to look into that one. I'm going to just go down the list here and see what the cheapest thing is. If there's anything cheaper, $39, 22 Paracone MD. Oh, that used to be cruelty free. He's not anymore. Not cruelty free. Oh, look, $27. <laughs> Primetime BB Primer Cream Daily Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I love my tinted gel cream um, from Bare Minerals, but that's a little more expensive, so I'd probably go with this one because it's $3 cheaper. Uh, let's see if there's anything else that might be a little bit cheaper. Oh, something for $18. Oh, that's Sephora Collection. Not cruelty free. $36. Nope. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Dr. Dennis Gross, Tristique, $30, no. Okay, so it looks like the cheapest thing on here is going to be this Primetime BB Primer Cream Daily Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Okay, so I'm going to just go with this lightest shade, that's what I would do. The thing is, with things like this, they have really crappy shade ranges, um, and usually it's not a perfect match to my skin tone, but it's good enough. Um, I'm just looking at the other shades. They need to have de deeper stuff, but they don't. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try that. I think you can kind of get away with having a smaller shade range with these because they're so sheer. They tend to not really give you a lot of coverage. They're 
they just, they kind of enhance your skin maybe a little bit, but they don't really cover you. You know what I mean? So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and add that. And then we're going to look, I think I'm going to shop for, I think I'm, I could go to mini size or I could go to value and gift sets, um, face sets, uh, guys, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm going to go to value and gift sets because there could be like a little face palette or something. I'm thinking Tarte. They do a lot of, um, little sets. So I might, I might try to look for a Tarte little face set. So let me see. Um, can I filter this by brand somehow? It doesn't, I, I don't see a way to filter it by brand. Okay. So I'm actually going to sort it by price low to high then, and we'll go from there. So Tarte does, they've got two little lipsticks for 10 bucks. That's pretty cheap. Uh, Kat Von D has a lip set. Oh, look, look, at look, look, look. Oh, yay. Oh, look. <laughs> so Tarte has a blush, a bronzer, and a mascara for 12 bucks. I think I'm going to stick that in my cart. Thank you very much, Tarte. Okay, so we are definitely going to add that to our basket. What a deal. So now I just need eyes, like eyeshadow and highlighter and brows, although I could just use my bronzer for brows, really. I'm going to keep looking in this little set section. See what I can find. Oh, eyeshadow. Urban Decay, Kristen Leanne, 13 bucks. I love this palette. Um, I'm going to add that to cart. Just to let you guys know, I'm not actually buying this stuff. It's just to see if this is the whole thing is possible. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my basket. Did I add it? Okay, we got it. Okay. So we're at $52 right now. I still need a highlighter. Um, I need a highlighter and I need brows. Okay. I'm very excited about that little tart set that I found. <laughs> There's only 12 bucks. Yes. Oh, well this one has a glow girl, but I don't need the bronzer cause I already got the bronzer. Okay. Uh, highlighter palette for 17. I don't really want to spend that much. Um, oh look, the Tarte Gym Grab Bags, uh, Grab Bags Athleisure Essentials is only 20 bucks, and it's got this little lip balm and a full-size mascara and all this stuff, um, but I already got that $12 set, so I don't need that. Let's see. Okay. Um, I do need lips. I think I'm going to get this Marc Jacobs Reinvented Lip Duo for 20 bucks. You looks like you get a lipstick and a gloss. That's that's nice. It looks like a good, like, neutral kind of color that's universal. Okay, so we're going to get that. Um, I'm only at $72. I still need brows and highlighter. Okay. I, I think I'm doing pretty well, except for brows are expensive. Maybe I can get a brush or something and just I'll just use my bronzer for that. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got more along the lines of the value sets. Uh, this Fenty, $22. I could get the Fenty Bomb Baby Lip and Face Set. You know what? Let me get that and I'll take off. This way I get the um, highlighter and the gloss. So I have something for my lips and I have a highlighter. And I can just get rid of my Marc Jacobs one. So let me remove that. And then, um, let me see. I am at, what is my price? $75. What a deal. Yes. And I've got, so I've got blush, bronzer, highlighter, gloss. I, um, what do you call it? Mascara, eyeshadow. And then this BB primer cream. Okay, so I need I need brows and I need eyeliner. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's just two lip pencils. No, that's not going to help me. 
No, no, no. Uh, this is an all highlighter set. Okay, Marc Jacobs with an eyeliner. Actually, it has two eyeliners. No, it's too much. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Well, now we're getting into more expensive, expensive things. Well, this one has an eyeliner, but it also has a bunch of things I don't need. Actually, I could get rid of the Fenty and get this. And this has a, it looks like, what is this stellar thing? Is that a powder? What's, what is this stellar thing? <laughs> okay, stellar face powder glow. I don't, what, what is that? Is it, is face powder glow is like, hmm. Because we've got, in this one, we've got a mascara, an eyeliner, a powder, a blur stick, and a highlighter. So I could get this one, and then I've got all of that. Here we have a mascara, though. I don't want to get rid of this set because it's really cheap. <laughs> um, okay, I think I'm going to have to keep looking. Okay, let's see what we can find. No. Okay, now we're getting up into $30, so I'm thinking I'm, thinking I'm going to have to go a different route at this point. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and search browse. See what we get. We're going to sort by low to high prices. Okay, so our collection of course is going to come up first, but we know that's not cruelty free. Benefit is not cruelty free. D -d 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 -d. Tweezerman I think is cruelty free, but that's... Um, not a brow product. Surat Beauty Expressionist Brow Pencil Refill Cartridge. I don't know if this brand is cruelty free or not. So you know what? To save three bucks though, I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. Product details. I know it's a refill cartridge, but um that's fine. I don't need the whole I don't need the whole pencil thing. Let's see. What you need to know, dedicated to Japanese tradition of minimal elegance, space-saving packaging. It does not say anything about being cruelty-free. Go to ingredients, nothing about cruelty-free. Okay, so I would have to do more research on this, and I don't want to do that. So to save $3, it's not worth it. So it's looking like we're going to do a brow product. We we're going to have to buy like a full size freaking brow product. That kind of sucks. I thought that the brow pencil was $18 and uh, I'm still going down the list. Holy cow. Why are brow pencils so expensive? I guess I always buy them during the 21 days of beauty. So I never pay full price and I forget how expensive they are. Um, yeah, I usually pay $10 for high end brow pencils. This is weird to me. Let's see. ABH Brow Wiz is $21. What about just their regular pencil? I used to use that and I really um, liked it, but I, I don't see, I don't see the ABH Brow Pencil here. Hmm. Oh, but there's this Milk Makeup Gel Brow. Let's see what this is. Do they have a, a taupe shade? I could just try this. That looks really dark for one. Ooh, it says pale ale white. That looks way too dark for me. No, no, we're gonna have to go with something more expensive. Um, okay, so we're gonna go down the list until we find a cruelty-free brow pencil. I guess we'll just get Brow Wiz because I'm familiar with that and I know it works for me, so we'll just get that. So we're gonna go with, uh, not blonde, taupe is actually the color that I use. Add to basket. Okay, so I am now at 96 freaking dollars. That stupid brow pencil. I'm annoyed that I have to spend $21 on a brow pencil. Mm. Okay, so we are at $96. I said $150. Uh, but you know what? I think this is all I need. Do I need anything else? 
I have my BB primer. Oh, powder. I do need powder. I gotta get powder. Okay, so we're gonna go to shop makeup and then we're gonna go to mini size. And we're gonna sort by price, low to high. And then we're gonna find a powder. I think they have a mini cover FX. Yes, they do for mini cover FX powder for 10 bucks. I haven't tried this one, but I love the one that I have, which is um, the translucent perfect setting powder or something. This is the illuminating one, but that's fine. I'll just get that. So we're going to add that to the basket. And I do believe that is everything that we need. I am very proud of myself. <laughs> uh, you know, you could get concealer, like, and then I could bring the price up and stuff. But if I was, you know, if I lost my makeup bag and I had to go out and um, do this, I would not buy a concealer because that's not even something I use every day. So this is what my cart would look like. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I actually have these two things, actually these three things in my collection already. Um, so I know that uh, I would like it. And this highlighter, by the way, I actually like more than I did when I first got it. So yeah, $106 for pretty much a full face, like a full everyday face, not a full glam face, but a full everyday face of makeup for $106 at Sephora. I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> What do you guys think? Do you think I did well? Do you think I didn't do so well? Do you think I should have included, tried to include like other things like concealer or a full foundation and primer and all of that stuff? Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.